Hello everyone, in this session I'm, I'm going to be looking at the CPA exam changes that's going to be taking place in 2024. Specifically, I'm going to look at the old FAR and tell you what's going to happen to the new in quote FAR. So what's happening to the FAR to the new FAR. What I did is I used the blueprint, the recent blueprint, and I looked at the new blueprint for the CPA evaluation 2024, which is this is the accounting core, or just simply put the core for the accounting, and this is the bar section, which is in quote, the advanced accounting. So let's go ahead and take a look at the overview. What you can notice is this. The old FAR has four sections, one, two, three, four. The new core accounting has three sections. What happened is this, real quick. The state and local government is gone. It's no longer under the core. Now you're gonna see, we're gonna still have some few governmental concept, which I'm gonna talk about uh, in details later on, but this is gone. Also what's gone is notice here it says, conceptual framework, standard setting and financial reporting. What's left is financial reporting. And frankly, those two are deleted. They are simply gone, gone, gone. Okay. Also, we have selected financial statements and selected transactions. Now we have selected balance sheet account. Notice it's specifically balance sheet and selected transaction. Let's go ahead and dive into the details of what's happening. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. Starting with the area one, area one, right here, area one financial reporting. It used to be uh, 20 to 35, now between 30 to 40%, and it's only called financial reporting. The major change, as I just told you, conceptual framework and sender setting, those are gone, they're no longer tested. What remained the same is, section a of this uh, section a of area one which is the general purpose financial reporting for business purpose simply put your balance sheet your income statement comprehensive incomes changes of cha statement of changes in equity statement of cash flow minor stuff about consolidated financial statements and notes now the testing level might switch a little bit for example some of it was uh, remembering now it's application some of it was application now analysis or vice versa but the topics are the same i would say it doesn't matter what the testing level is you have to know what you have to know it so nothing really changed in area one same concept in area b remain the same and this is what i hated about this changes in the blueprint they kept some non-governmental not-for-profit entities the general purpose financial reporting so you still have to know for governmental accounting the statement of financial position statement of activities statement of cash flows and notes to the financial statement so the overall picture for non-governmental not-for-profit entities i wish they moved this to bar also, they added to this section, which is I also I hate this section C, which is some light governmental accounting concept, because I told you the governmental accounting, the main the main section, section four is moved, but they kept state and local government concept, which is basic concept, measurement, focus and basis of accounting. Basically, they want you to know what's modified accrual and the purpose of funds, which is, again, the pur why would you have the purpose of funds here and cover the funds and bar? I guess that's what they wanted it. I hope they will change this down the road and just keep governmental in bar. Now, let's look at area one and other changes. Um, section D, they used to have a public company report public company reporting topics, SEC and other topics. They trimmed it down and they moved some of the topic to bar. Not a big deal at all. The old E used to be financial statement employee benefit plan. Well, this this section is moved to bar. It's, it's no longer here. Now they have a new E section called the special purpose framework, which is not really new. It used to be section F. And now they added a new material in section F, which is not a big deal at all. The financial statement ratio. Simply put, they want you to know the ratios in the core. And that's basically the financial reporting topic. 
nothing really major if anything they trimmed it down they took out the conceptual framework and the standard setting which used to be a lot of memory and they added some minor topics about governmental accounting which is you would you would have studied in far anyway nothing major let's take a look at the selected balance sheet now it's called selected balance sheet specifically not selected accounts selected balance sheet so they want to focus on the balance sheet this section used to be 30 to 40 percent used to be 30 to 40 still 30 to 40 percent and the topics remain the same simply put balance sheet accounts cash receivable inventory property plant and equipment investment here are they are in front of you now some shifting of the material they moved from this topic they used to have j k and l they moved j which is revenue revenue it means income statement since this is a balance sheet they removed it to select the transaction and they remove they remove some of it to bar that's fine stock compensation they moved it to bar income taxes they moved it to the core they moved it to the core and they moved it to area three so they moved some of it to the selected transaction uh, i'm sorry income taxes they moved it within core that's it they just moved it from balance sheet and they moved it into the core which you'll see on the next slide so that's what happened so what happened to section two they reduced it they reduced some of the topics from section two section two is now only balance sheet it used to be balance sheet it used to be accounts in general and transaction okay now we have transactions separately uh used to be uh, selected financial accounts now it's called selected transaction okay and the uh, section a remained the same accounting changes and corrections of error this is a major one section b section b used to be business combination now it's moved to bar this is a major one we have a new section b called contingencies and commitment the old c was contingency and commitment now they moved they replaced it with revenue recognition which is revenue recognition moved from area two to area three so this used to be an area two now they moved it to area three and it's also covered in bar on more and a more on a more advanced level Old D was derivatives and hedge accounting. Now, new D is accounting for income taxes. Remember, also they moved accounting from income taxes from section two to section three. Old E used to be foreign currency transaction and translation. Now, the new E is fair value measurement, used to be, used to be the old K. Again, some shifting around. F, leases remain in the core, and we have leases within bar. So, leases will be covered both in the core under section F and in bar. All the G used to be now reciprocal transfer, which is governmental. That's moved to bar. And now we have a new G called subsequent, should be one word, subsequent event used to be J. What did they move from this section? They move research and development cost, move to bar, and software cost move to bar as well. Those are moved from the from the core, not from the core, from the old far to the bar. They're not in the core anymore. And goodwill is there. That's why I said, where is goodwill? Goodwill is in the in the core. As in, I'm sorry, not in the core, in the bar. Uh, section four is easy. Section four is gone. We no longer we no longer have section four, which is the governmental. Remember, I told you at the beginning, the governmental is gone. Now let's talk about bar, which is now we're gonna talk about bar, which is the advance, the advanced topic for for far. Okay, starting with we have three sections: business analysis, technical accounting and reporting, and state and local government. Starting with the state and local government. Simply put, the old section four and far now it's section three and bar. Okay, nothing basically the same topics. Basically the same topics: governmental accounting. Let's talk about section one, which is this is new, new in quote, be not really new material, it's just new topic. So they have section A under section A. At current period historical analysis, including the use of data. So what is that? What topics are covering? Well, they're covering ratios. Didn't we look at ratios? Yes. Here they want you to explain and analyze financial statement analysis numbers, which is using ratios. Really, a new topic here is called non-financial and gap measure of performance. This is a totally new topic. That's not, not a big deal at all. So don't you don't have to worry about this. Section three under A, managerial and cost accounting, which is the old BEC. So notice the old BEC, now it's part of bar, some of it, managerial and cost. Then they have section B, which is prospective analysis, including the use of data. Yeah, big words, what are what is this? Budgeting, forecasting, and projection, old BEC. Well, forecasting and projection is like kind of kind of new, kind of they 
kind of they they touched upon it maybe it's going to be a little bit more in advance maybe some regression some estimate but nothing major capital structure all bec investment alternative use and financial valuation model the old bec capital budgeting and similar topic risk management all bec coso and some other topics five economic and market influences on business all bec the econ but trimmed down a little so this is basically the business analysis which is the new some of the B made mainly old BEC. So notice the, the BEC is not really gone. Some of it is integrated into FAR. Let's take a look at the technical accounting and reporting. Here technical, what they mean is a little bit more advanced. And this is section two of VAR. Indefinite, intangible, including goodwill, used to be covered in FAR. Now it's covered here. Internally developed software. A new, it's a new topic, but it's fairly easy topic. Revenue recognition. Remember, revenue recognition was shifted from section two to section three in in core now some of it is also in bar at the more advanced level stock compensation remember i told you it moved from far to bar so it didn't it didn't make it to the core research and development move from far to bar business combination a big one moved from far to bar consolidated financial statements same concept derivatives and hedge accounting used to be basic basic old and far it's still basic they're going to test it at a basic level and bar leases covered in the core and covered in at a more advanced level and bar public company reporting topics it used to be old far again it's not a major topic uh it's broken down as well between the core and far and financial statement of employee benefit same as before it used to be in far they just they moved it to the bar I would I would not say nothing is major here. Nothing, absolutely no new material, minor new material. Otherwise, shifting of material. That's about it. Now, um, again, we talked about section three. So, in summary, let me give you just summary. Like what's happening here. Some topics were deleted. The conceptual framework and standard setting. Those are gone. Shifting of material is happening. Yes, mainly governmental accounting and business combination, as well as others. You saw some shifting, but the governmental is the main one. The governmental and the advanced accounting. And what they did, they added to the bar some BEC topic, managerial cost and econ. Now, what is my overall impression? I'm going to use some words I don't like, I don't really like to use, but I think the core accounting is getting easier. In my opinion, the core accounting is getting easier. Um, so if you don't like consolidation, you don't like governmental accounting, you, you want to avoid the, you want to avoid the uh, bar. That's what's, that's what, what's mainly in bar, more advanced topic, but Guess what? If you work with these topics, like if that's your specialty, you are a staff and you work in consolidated financial statement or you are working in governmental accounting, you want to take this specialty. Otherwise, overall, the accounting core concept is getting lighter. That's what that's what that's what I mean. Be, that's what I mean by easier. So this is again, let me look at the big overall picture. This is the core. I believe the core is getting lighter. The core accounting is lighter. Now here it's mainly mainly again governmental and finance advanced topics that you learned in the core and uh say governmental and consolidation governmental and some advanced topic that's what the bar is all about plus plus the business analysis which is the old bec which is i believe they are basic topics i mean the fact that 50 percent of it is business analysis it makes it easy too i mean managerial cost accounting and econ they should for me I mean, I don't, I hate the word, I hate to use the word easy or hard. I'm not going to say they are easy, but they are as not specific or ha they don't have specific rules as revenue recognition, um, which is, it's, I believe it's more challenging in my opinion, but 50% is business analysis. So it should be fairly easy. Technical accounting and reporting. If you have some basic knowledge, you should be able to survive. So overall, no earth shattering. I did not see like big data or IT or anything integrated here. So uh, again, what should you do? Think about your options. My goal is to give you as much information as possible about what's happening. You make your own decision. Uh, please comment, uh, comment in the uh, comment in the comment section what you think. Maybe I have missed something. Again, what I did is I used the old blueprint and the new blueprint and compared them. You know, if I made a mistake, please let me know. As always, um, if you're not a member of Farhat Lectures, take a look at Farhat Lectures, and uh, good luck. Study hard. Stay safe. I'm always here for you.